Hello, I am J. William Harbour. I am the uh, Vice Chairman for Translational Research at Bascom Palmer Eye Institute and the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. My specialty is ocular oncology. I take care of patients with eye cancer. And uh, while eye cancers are relatively rare, Bascom Palmer is one of the major international centers. And so we see many patients uh, from around the world uh, with various eye cancers. It turns out that two of the most common eye cancers that I take care of, one is called melanoma, and that's usually in adults, uh, and another called retinoblastoma, and that's usually in children. And it turns out that these are two of the deadliest cancers uh, of, of any type of cancer. In fact, a hundred years ago, retinoblastoma was uniformly fatal. Um, all children died uh, that had this. Um, uveal melanoma is um, treatable in the eye, but about half of the patients die of metastatic disease. And when I got into this field, there were really no treatments at all for metastatic uh, melanoma from the eye. And what we now understand is that in order to develop effective treatments, we need to understand the gene damage or mutations that occur in the cancer that allow it to become more and more malignant. So my research has focused on identifying these genes that become damaged so that we can uh, develop targeted drugs that, that attack the damaged genes. And so uh, two of the uh, most important genes that have been discovered in eye melanoma, we discovered in my laboratory. One of them is called SF3B1, which is uh, recently published in uh, Nature Genetics. And before that, another uh, major mutation that we discovered is called BAP1 or BAP1. And these two mutations, one is associated with good outcome and the other with bad outcome. So by determining which mutation a patient has, we can predict whether or not they're going to develop metastatic disease and we can deliver targeted uh, medication uh, or therapy to them. I hesitate to use the word chemotherapy because we are now uh, so much more, uh, we know so much more about uh, the mutations that we can use very specific drugs that really don't have the side effects of traditional chemotherapy.